In this animated video, you will learn how to see IP of reverse osmosis membrane. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe for more informative videos. When to clean reverse osmosis membrane. If the pressure of the inlet header increases relative to normal, and the pressure of the permeate decreases while, the reject pressure increases relative to normal, it indicates that the membranes need cleaning. Another indication is if the flow rate of the permeate decreases and the flow rate of the reject increases relative to normal. This means the membrane should be cleaned immediately. Alkaline treatment. Fill the mixer tank with the required amount of distilled water. Turn on the pump, and add an appropriate quantity of sodium hydroxide to the mixer tank to achieve a pH of 12. Turn on the agitator to make the solution homogeneous. Monitor the pH meter. The solution pH should be between 11 or 12. Run the pump to transfer the prepared solution to the micron cartridge filter. This filter will allow fluids smaller than 5 microns to pass through while, blocking particles larger than 5 microns. You can see, this filter functions as a sieve, allowing fluid particles smaller than 5 microns to pass through while, effectively blocking larger particles. Observe the flow meter, which we can call the inlet flow meter. It will display the flow rate of the passing fluid. The fluid then goes to the inlet header, which distributes it to the membranes. The pressure gauge shows the pressure before the membranes. As the solution passes through the membranes, it interacts with the stuck microbiological and suspended particles present in the membranes and tries to dissolve them. Each membrane has two outlets, permeate and reject. Permeate goes to the permeate header, while reject goes to the reject header. Both headers are connected to the mixer tank, meaning they continuously feed the solution back to the mixer tank. The flow meters show the permeate and reject flow rates, respectively. The pH meter measures the pH of the permeate. The value is around 9 to 10. Note this value and compare it with the pH of the prepared solution. When the solution reacts with microbiological and suspended particles, it becomes less concentrated, causing the pH to change. If the pH of the prepared solution decreases, add more sodium hydroxide to the mixer tank to maintain a pH of 12. Continue this process for about 45 minutes. Turn off the pump and leave the solution in the membranes for 30 minutes. This allows the solution to react with the microbiological and suspended particles. After 30 minutes, turn on the pump and continue the cleaning process. When the pH of both permeates and reject reaches 12, it means the microbiological and suspended particles have been removed from the membranes. That's all about the alkaline treatment of row membranes. Acidic treatment. Fill the mixer tank with the required amount of distilled water. Run the dosing pump to add an appropriate quantity of hydrochloric acid to the mixer tank to achieve a pH of 2. Turn on the agitator to make the solution homogeneous. Monitor the pH meter. The solution pH should be around 2. Run the pump to transfer the prepared solution to the micron cartridge filter. 
This filter will allow fluid smaller than 5 microns while block particles larger than 5 microns. You can see this filter functions as a sieve, it allowing fluid particles smaller than 5 microns while blocking larger particles. Observe the flow meter, it displays the flow rate of passing fluid. The fluid then goes to the inlet header. It distributes the fluid to the membranes. The pressure gauge shows the pressure before the membranes. As the solution passes through the membranes, it interacts with the calcium and magnesium content present in the membranes and try to dissolve them. Each membrane has two outlets, permeate and reject. Permeate goes to the permeate header, while, reject goes to the reject header. Both headers are connected to the mixer tank. They continuously feed the solution back to the mixer tank. The flow meters show the permeate and reject flow rates respectively. The pH meter measures the pH of the permeate. The value is around 4. Note this value and compare it with the pH of the prepared solution. When the solution reacts with calcium and magnesium present in membrane, it becomes less concentrated, causing the pH to change. If the pH of the prepared solution increases, add more hydrochloric acid to the mixer tank to maintain a pH of 2. Continue this process around 45 minutes. After 45 minutes turn off the pump and leave the solution in the membranes for 30 minutes. This allows the solution to react with the calcium and magnesium content. We call this process soaking. After 30 minutes, turn on the pump again, to continue the cleaning process. When the pH of both permeates and reject reaches 2, it means the calcium and magnesium content has been removed from the membranes. That's all about the acidic treatment of row membranes. Flashing It's time to remove the chemicals we used to treat the plant. Close these two valves and open these two valves. Continuously feed distilled water into the mixer tank. Turn on the agitator and pump. Distilled water will go through the plant and drain through these two valves. Continue this process until the pH of these two meters reaches around 7. A pH of 7 indicates that the chemicals have been removed from the plant and the flashing process is complete. Thanks for watching this video.